The Eurovision Song Contest Grand Final is on in a few hours, so I thought, I've been watching Eurovision for 10 years now, and I want to list out my favourites in order, one from each year, for the last 10 years, so let's do that. Alright, starting on a big note, Conchita with Rise Like a Phoenix. What haven't I already said about Conchita? What an amazing way to be introduced to the contest, right? Ah! Alright, number 9, Mr. Mons with Heroes. I remember this was the first year that I watched Eurovision where I finally understood it. I mean, Conchita was last, now now I finally understand it, and I was rooting for this to win so hard. And then it did, and I just remember going crazy and that kind of made me fall in love with watching again and again and again, so there you go. Next is Sound of Silence by Darmy. I remember this was the first time that made me think, who oh, we're gonna be sticking around for a while. Like, that's the, that's the one I love. By far the favorite of that year. All right, number seven. 2017, Salvador. I still think this is possibly, not even just Eurovision, one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Top three favorite Eurovision songs of all time. Whew, I still cry every time. Okay, so picture this, it's 2018. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, I'm sitting there and this is on my TV screen. One of the most amazing things to ever, ever step on the Eurovision stage. I'm, I'm obsessed. I, oh, here's a photo of me meeting her. I'm in love with Meta. Always happy and always will be. All right, next. 2019, this is when my unhealthy Eurovision obsession came. I listened to Zero Gravity more than any song that I've ever listened to in my entire life. Yeah. I wanted this to win so bad. My favorite from 2019, In Love. So my favorite from 2020 was the year that Eurovision was officially canceled because of COVID-19. This song was still released. Jean went back and competed in 2021, but by far, this was my favorite from the songs that were released. We were so close to getting to compete. Love. 2021 and we were back. And we were back hard. The best year of Eurovision that we have ever had. My favorite still came through, hard and strong. Barbara Provi with Voila. The Maybe the best Eurovision song. Maybe my favorite of all time. Maybe. I, I think so, yeah. All right, it's 2022 and the absolute impossible has happened. I am now representing Australia at Eurovision. Oh, I still can't believe it, but it did. And I still had a favorite. A favorite from 2022. Cornelia with Hold Me Closer. I fell so deeply in love with this song. Maybe more than Voila. Nah, equally. This year, 2023. I mean, it's exciting. 10 years. I've watched for 10 years now and it does not disappoint. Tattoo is a masterpiece. It's absolute genius. Don't get me wrong, Finland is incredible. In any other year, I would say they are my winner. But Loreen winning with this masterpiece, iconic. Anyway, this has been my top 10. I'm going crazy.